everybody. Oh, welcome back to my channel. It is payday Friday. Okay, so <laughs> it is payday. It is time to budget that paycheck and see where my money is going to go. And uh, let's get into this. If you're new here, my name is Liz. I'm on two journeys. The first journey is to lose 150 pounds. Second journey, the reason for today's video is to lose $150,000 in debt. And I'm doing that by budgeting my paycheck, watching where my money is going, saving, and uh, it all goes to pay off that debt. After the debt is paid off, we'll work on our mortgage. If you're wondering why that is considered a separate debt, you'll just have to go back and watch my videos. <laughs> Getting into savings, investing, and all that down the road. But first, let's get this paycheck budgeted. Alrighty, uh-oh. Over the last two weeks, from the um, April 8th, paycheck let's see we had no additional income over the last two weeks i do have some expenses here we need to see if they have cleared from the checking account so let's take a look here 386 dollars is my car payment that did come out so i'll move that over to the april column paid $28 for my life insurance that is paid and $68 for car insurance it seems like it has come down again uh, $67.04 uh, I'm not sure if that's what it was last time but I will take it and I will check into that to make sure that it is correct all right and then down here let's see how my spending was over the last two weeks <sighs> it, it's been a rough two weeks obviously you've heard or seen my uh car needed some repairs to the tune of fourteen hundred dollars now the video software that I use to edit my videos, I pay online and that account was hacked and so I didn't realize they were actually charging a lot to my credit card. So I ended up with several adjustments to my credit card bill um, to make up for those payments. So I had groceries on here for $23.50. Over the last two weeks, I have $108.24 in additional spending. So I'm going to put that under buy weekly spending, $108.24. Then, of course, my $25 cleared for savings. I'm not exactly sure what that savings is going to be used for. It might go towards my car at the end of the year, or it might be used to... Uh, do Christmas in cash. So that money will be there. All right, 108.24. So I did get my regular, actually, okay. I got a stipend, so my taxes, I think, are off by just a couple of dollars. My paycheck was for 1464.17, and then my stipend was 93.98. Let's just call it $94. So it gives me 15.58 in this week's pay. I'll have $400 to go towards the mortgage and utilities. That goes into the account that I share with my husband. I have $261 going to a loan. And then I'll have $54 coming out for my union dues. If you're new here, <laughs> welcome. I'm a full-time middle school teacher. And uh, of course, we have to pay our union. For the month of April, all the bills are paid. And I wish the money I have left over... Uh, let's see, $843. I wish all of that was going towards my car. It'd be amazing. However, uh, if we look over here, the April 8th pay has passed. Today is the 20, well, this week it's the 22nd. 
So the next pay will be May 6th. So anything between now and the 6th, I'm going to have to take out of this paycheck, which is nothing. I don't know how many times I've said this, but the federal student loans, like I know in April's budget, I was like, this is the last time I have a zero payment, but they have once again extended it till August. So I don't have a federal loan payment for May. I don't want to have all of my bills coming out of one paycheck. I'm going to allocate out of t um, this week's pay my private student loan, which is $268. Everything else will come out of the next pay. So let me go down here to spending. In spending, I have given myself a new category of fun money and that is $50. So I will put that $50 here until I take that out from the bank in cash. And then we'll have $25 going towards savings. That I do have set up to come out automatically. That leaves me with $500. That is really great. I'm so happy to see that number. Um, in the next two weeks, let me think what I have going on. <sighs> I don't have a lot going on. I've already taken care of a lot of our food. At least um, I like breakfast, lunches, snacks are taken care of. I gotta rethink dinners considering some health goals I have that I can update you in the next Way and Wednesday video or whatever topic I decide to post on Wednesday. I wasn't ready to do a Way and Wednesday video this last week so I just posted my grocery haul. Yeah, in the next two weeks, I really don't see anything going on. I do have one more trip to my mom's to help her with moving, um, but I'm not sure that anything else will be going on. So $50 seems very sufficient to allocate for myself. If I don't end up spending that money, then I'll just send it off to either savings or car payment or something. So that means I have $500 left over at the end after all the expenses are taken care of. Some of you might be wondering, well, what about groceries? And as I have shared before, that is an expense that I share with my husband from our household account. And in that household account, he contributes more because he makes more. Now what I would like to do is go down this list of everything that has cleared and just move it over to the April column that signals to me that those things have cleared. If it remains under this column with my paycheck for the paycheck day or my payday, that means those items have not cleared yet. So for instance, $1,464.94, that has already cleared, I already have that money. So I don't need to keep it here in this column it's already in my bank account. $400 for the mortgage and utilities, I'm going to transfer right now. And this has cleared so I can remove it and put it into April where it belongs. $261 for this loan that has cleared. Dues have not come out yet, so they're gonna stay. Private student loan will stay as well. The federal student loan is zero, so I will gladly transfer that over. The $50 is going to stay there until I take it out in the form of cash. The $25, um, let's see, that has not cleared yet, so that will also stay here until it clears. Now what this tells me down here at the bottom in, whoops, I forgot to change this to May. In the um, paycheck column, so 422 is the paycheck date, I still have $397 outstanding. So 
that will be cleared once all these transfers go through. That just gives me an idea, like 397 is what needs to be in my bank account and I need to see it there. So I cannot, for instance, um, these things that didn't come out yet, let's just say I have $1,000 in my checking account right now. This tells me that I would not be able to transfer more than $600 to my car loan if I wanted to make a car payment, that I would need to keep at least $397 in my checking account. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that's an easier explanation. Um, this works for me and maybe it doesn't work for everybody, but it definitely works for me. So I can take a quick snapshot, what's in my checking account compared to what's left here in this column and that tells me everything I need to know. So let me go back over here. In April, I can see so far my income in April is $3,078. I have had in April $2,166 in expenses. In April, I have spent $308.24. Um, and I know that I'm still making payments on my credit card because, you know, we talked about that last time. No need to get into that this time. I have saved so far $25 that is soon to be $50. Down here is my overall summary. So I have a surplus of $578.80 for the month of April so far over here that has cleared. But keep in mind that I also still have to pay out $397. My next paycheck will be in about two weeks and we'll get started on those May bills. I will be sharing some health and weight loss updates in some upcoming Way and Wednesday vlog type videos a new savings challenge and how I'm coming up with some extra money to put towards my car. If you like that kind of content, budgeting, savings, debt paying off, weight loss and health sprinkled in with a little bit of side hustle reselling, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. If you are someone who likes to support others reach their goals, give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Don't forget to stay hydrated. I better go fill up and I will see you guys in the next one on Monday. <laughs> Bye.